Tune in for Patrick Ching's Painting in Paradise. Aloha, I'm Patrick Ching and thank you for joining me on Painting in Paradise. This episode features the Hawaiian stilt known as Ai'o and comes to us from Timbers, Kauai. Timbers is a resort community with a vast network of lagoons and waterways that are home to all species of native Hawaiian waterbirds. We'll take a wildlife tour with Al Silva, a former biology tech with the Department of Forestry and Wildlife with 30 years of service. We'll see birds including the Hawaiian ducks called koloa, coots called alai keo keo, gallinules called alai ula, herons called aukuu, and the long-legged Hawaiian stilts called ai'o. I'll show you how to draw the ai'o and then how to paint it. Then watch how a large ceramic and glass mural featuring the ai'o was made for Lehua School on Oahu. Finally, We'll join in on an I.O. painting class for the staff and owners at Timbers. Enjoy all this and more on a long-legged episode of... Painting in Paradise! <laughs> this episode of Painting in Paradise comes to you from the spectacular property of Timbers, Kauai. Aloha, I'm Chris Gampon. I'm the general manager here at Timbers, Kauai. Timbers, Kauai is located on a 450-acre Hokuala resort property. On the property, we have an 18-hole signature Jack Nicholas course with the longest stretch of holes along the ocean side. We've got 30 acres of waterways, 13 miles of lush walking trails. We have a 16 and a half acre organic farm with fruits, vegetables, and herbs that provides our award-winning Hualani's restaurant the supplies they need to deliver farm to fork experiences. We sit at the backdrop of the Haupu Mountains and right on the shoreline with the beautiful Ninini Bay and Ninini Lighthouse. Beautiful sunset views, beautiful sunrise here at the property every single day. Please come and join us. We look forward to seeing you here, either at our restaurant or coming to visit us as one of our guests. Thank you so much. Aloha. When we return, we'll take a wildlife tour of Timbers with naturalist Alan Silva. For art, gifts, and lessons, visit patrickcheng.com. Leading the wildlife tours at Timbers is Alan Silva. This area is really safe for them. Al retired after 30 years of service as a biology tech for the Division of Forestry and Wildlife. Aloha, I'm Al Silva. I do the wildlife tours here at Timbers. We get to see five, six different endangered species. We also get to see between 25 and 30 other species of birds that uh, call a property home. From a lifetime of living in Hawaii and decades of working with wildlife, Al is uniquely qualified to discuss wildlife biology and conservation with the folks on his tour. In his own delightful way, of course. So you got some nene geese and some mannequins and some zebra doves and a couple of red crested cardinals. Many of the birds you'll see here are introduced from other parts of the world. They include the spotted dove, house finch, Mina, Mockingbird, the Shama Thrush, Red Crested Cardinal, Northern Cardinal, Japanese White Eye or Majiro, Red Avadavat or Strawberry Finch, Nutmeg Mannequin, and the introduced Barn Owl. Our native Hawaiian short eared owl is called the Pueo. Seabirds also live here, like the wedge-tailed shearwater. And then there's an abundance of jungle fowl, which in Hawaii are called moa. One huge reason why ground-nesting birds thrive so well on Kauai is the absence of mongoose. 
Mongoose are present on all of the other Hawaiian islands and eat lots of birds, their chicks, and eggs. Right now, the nene geese are in the middle of their nesting season. We have roughly 30 nests this year on property. And uh, last count, I had 55 goslings running around them. The nene goose is Hawaii's state bird. They were once nearly extinct in the wild and gone from Kauai for many years. But through conservation efforts, their numbers increased and they were reintroduced to Kauai in the 1990s. Though many people think of the nene as dryland birds, they are still geese, and geese do love water too. We also have uh, gallinules, the common gallinules. The Hawaiian gallinule is called alai ula. Ula refers to the color red. Hawaiian legend has it that this bird stole fire from the gods and gave it to the Hawaiian people. In the process, his head was scorched by the flame and he forever wears the colors of fire on his head. A similar looking bird, the Hawaiian coot, is called alai keo keo. Keo keo refers to the color white for the color of its beak and forehead. Hawaiian coots usually nest on the island of Nihau, but for some reason some of them have decided to nest here and we have one of the ponds where we can find a couple of baby coots running around. The next native water bird we saw was the Hawaiian duck called Koloa. Uh, Koloa ducks were here all the time. We have roughly 50 to 60 Koloa ducks at any given time, and we should be able to find ducklings no matter where we go. The black crown night heron is called Aukuu. These beautiful big birds are excellent fishers and may amaze you with the large amounts of fish they can catch and eat. The stilts, we have roughly 15 to 20 stilts on the property. Every so often we'll get a stilt to nest here, uh, but normally they'll be flying Malka to do their nesting on the Malka edge. It was a great experience to take the wildlife tour with Al Silva at Timbers, Kauai. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, try this one. Al really loves sharing Kauai's wildlife with people. Seabirds and shorebirds. We'll see most of these guys, and we see a lot of these. And no sooner were we done, he was off to do it again. Okay, we're on our way. When we return, I'll show you how to draw and paint the Hawaiian still. For art, gifts, and lessons, visit patrickcheng.com. The Hawaiian still, called Ai'o, is an easily recognizable bird. With its dark black and white feathers and long bright pink legs, it can get an elevated view of its habitat as it searches for food. With its long beak, it plucks out its favorite meals, which consist of small crustaceans, mollusks, and fish. Its poetic movements and graceful strides make it a favorite subject of nature photographers and artists. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how I go about drawing the I.O. And I'm gonna make this I.O. kind of like stalking maybe, you know, one leg up and one leg in the water, kind of like crane, but it's actually a uh, stilt. I'll be using a pen so you can see pretty good, but you can use a pencil or whatever you got to draw with, okay? I'm gonna start off by pressing softly. How are we gonna press? Softly. softly. That's right. We're gonna press softly so you don't dig into the paper. So I'm gonna put a circle for the head right around here. And the body's gonna have kind of like a teardrop oval shape, okay? Tell you why, it's going like that. Now for the legs, I can just start off by kind of making stick legs, okay? They kind of got stick legs. And uh, I'll make one coming kind of there, and there's the little joint right there, like that. Now the other one's going to be above the water, so I'm going to really make it kind of, and then whoo, there's the joint there, and then it comes across here, and the foot is going to go around there, okay? They're kind of like, whoa, yeah. Now the beak will come right around there. And then I'll join the head to the body like that. Yeah, it's pretty good, pretty close. Let's give it a couple more 
points over here. Maybe a longer, skinnier one there, and then one for the tail. Now let's draw the line between the black part and the white part. And then it kind of comes around like that, and they got a couple cool looking feathers like that over there. And then, you know, down to the wing parts and... All right. Now the maka goes right around where the maka goes. It's actually in the black part, okay? There, and then you might have a little part over there, okay? The beak will come inside the face a little bit. Bing, bing. Now I'll put a little bit of rings in the water, like the river's flowing here. Now, when it comes to the legs, I know what you're thinking. Oh, man, it's so hard to draw those straight lines. And I got you. It's hard for me, too. So I use a secret weapon sometimes. Whoa, chopsticks. Yeah. <laughs> they kind of got chopstick legs, yeah? Well, he's going to have chopstick leg. And I'll put one there. And I'll use it as a guide to get my lines kind of straight, yeah? Okay, and remember, this first part, you are using it just as a guide. And a little bulb right around there, kind of like the drumstick part. All right, so now I got the I.O. formed up. I'm going to start using a bigger pen so you can see a little better. And I'm going to use this as a guide, but it doesn't mean I have to follow it exactly, yeah? Okay. Now, when it comes to the mouth, I tell you what, I'm going to make him have a little bit of an open mouth. And this way, I can actually put a little fish in there. I'm going to put the fish in there first, okay? And the maka. Now, I'm going to do that line between the black and the white part. Now, in the feathers, you can go ahead and make up the sections of the feathers, okay? I'll give him a little cloud lines in here. And don't forget your signature. And there you have a drawing of an I.O. <laughs> now you can go ahead and shade your I.O. drawing. And even go ahead and paint it. First, I'll start with the light lower sky then the dark upper sky, then the faraway mountain, and get closer and closer with the greenery. Then I'll start on the water and get some of that nice blue reflection of the sky on it. I'll try and leave some light parts where the ripples are and add some of the earth color to the water as it gets lower in the painting. I'll paint white over the I.O.'s underparts and then start to add little hints of blue and gray shadows. Then it's time to paint the top feathers of the I.O. black. I'm often adding blue, which is the reflection of the sky on their oily feathers. Do you know female I.O. are a little browner on top? The beak is also black with blue and white reflections. Now it's time to paint in those pink legs. Then add some darker red to the places where the sun's not hitting. And lighter pink where the sun does hit. Don't forget that little fish. And some reflections in the water. Add a few jugga juggas. And ta-da! These drawing and painting lessons may be quick and simple, but they're the same processes I use to do my more detailed art, which I take a lot more time to create. You can see more of my art or learn intricate nature painting techniques at patrickching.com. This is a ceramic and glass mural done for Lehua Elementary School. On my first visit to the school, it rained hard and there were stilts playing in the puddles in the playground. So, I put them in the mural. We can walk. 
It took an amazing team of assistants and installers to take it from an idea on paper to a mural on a building. Mahalo, friends. When we return, we'll join the I.O. painting party at Timbers, Kauai. For art, gifts, and lessons, visit patrickcheng.com. And now join in on an I.O. painting class from the owner's lounge at the beautiful Timbers, Kauai. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for being here. And I'll tell you what, we're going to be putting down a lot of color today. We are going to do our Hawaiian stilt. It's called Aipo. And you know, some are stalking, some are like, you know, standing up a little straighter. You're going to just kind of make your own background. Think about what you might like behind your bird, whether it's sky, it could be all water, it could even be all grass. Okay, I kind of want to do sky and then I want to do water with grass and mix kind of, when you get your colors, mix plenty, because that's going to dry fast. It was a pleasure to paint in such a beautiful place with great food and drinks and people. First, we painted our backgrounds so our birds had a nice place to live. You're gonna be happy. I'm gonna be happy. Painting is always funner with positive encouragement. Ooh, I love it. I'm going you guys here. Thank you, Carrie. Love your support. There's bound to be some hiccups along the way. You can just blend this color into this. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, just blend it up so you mix it. Call the museum. If you make a mistake, you can always paint over it. Put the wrong color on there. Okay, come on, little closer. Okay. Do you think the color palette is suitable? Or you can yeah. so please lend your mother. I love his energy. He's the best. He is the best. This is a nice big color. Next step was to fill in the birds with a base coat so that everything got covered with paint. I think I got... Oh, I was going to try some of this. being surrounded by such nice people and beautiful art. At the end of the class, we had a whole flock of beautiful I.O.
Thank you for joining me on Painting in Paradise. I hope you enjoyed this episode on the Hawaiian stilt called I.O. I'd love to see your artwork, so why don't you send pictures of you and your art to my website at aloha at patrickching.com. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.